the angles. So, finally, oh, freaking cat the off. Oh, wrong. <laughs> you know, she might be a little bit of place. Well, we're a little bit of place. Hold on. Right, morning, guys. So, welcome back again to NZ Mocarella Customs. So, today we might, you see, might do a little bit on the studio breaker because um, we got our wiring kit finally. Finally, we've got it finished and turned up. So, so this wiring kit or loom harness, what do you want to call it, was um, basically custom made to fit this particular car. It was seven hundred and thirty dollars New Zealand. Um, so, let's have a look. Let's <laughs> see if we can get for. Well, it's actually probably seven hundred and thirty dollars Australian, I would think. So what does that say? Cow lights. I'm guessing, and they're all numbered. So it's all actually in, all individually made and sleeved, like the original stuff. What do we got here? So they've actually set up a loom for it that we would never have for indicators or turn signals. Um, so that's that. I'm not quite sure where this all goes to. Dash light. Mm. Interesting. Altimeter switch. Horn. And then the main bit of the harness for the uh, crack on it. So that's be interesting to see. Just down on here. I do have a wiring diagram in the book, fortunately. So that's all you know to hear. So yeah, this was this is what they were waiting on was the metal sleeving. Um, to obviously replicate all the original. So that's all taped up. But yeah, so it's all um, labeled by the looks of it. Yeah, it's all got numbers on it. And I've got a sheet here with different numbers. So instead of having like little labels to say that it's like horn and whatever, it's got numbers on them, which I don't know. It's probably an easy way to do it, but it'd be nice if we just had a little label and it was a wee bit longer and just see what the things were. But yeah, so this is a wiring loom that I've got to try and sort out and put through and work out where it all goes. Hmm. At least it is the old, the old nice fabric wiring like it should be. And supposedly the original colours, I don't really know, I'm guessing. It's the original colour, so I'll just I'll turn the camera around and show you. So yeah, so it's all been made to fit the original. Um, or I'll, I'll pull out the, uh, I'll bring up the, pull out the book and have a look. So I guess that's to go up the column. Unfortunately, I can't. I haven't been able to get that button off. So we'll just have to, you know, some of it we'll have to work around. Dash lights, cow lights. The switch. So yeah, it'll just it'll be interesting to have a wee just wee noisy and just work out exactly what's going on here. So what's that number at twelve is a headlights fuse. Oops. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Number four is ignition switch to coil. Ten is horn fuse side. Twenty one direction switch. I oh, so that's for to set up for flashes and stuff like that. So yeah. So that's actually interesting, so we might have to, obviously, we're going to be putting some turn signals on this, 
that they were never had them originally, obviously, but he's obviously got it, so we can put turn signals on it, so we'll have to try and find something at some point. So, I might grab the original diagram, um, just so I can sort of get my head between the two, and um, see if we can work some of this out and at least get it half laid out in the vehicle and just see what goes to where and get a bit more of an idea there's hardly like there's hardly anything here I, I don't really apart from the sleeving you know I guess it would have taken a couple a few hours to bang together but yeah it's hard to see where $730 Australian went. I guess there's a wee bit of freight and mucking around. Probably this old wiring's probably a bit more expensive, I guess. You know, the original type sleeving, which does actually look very much like the original. It's almost identical because I put the original through. I think I've still, did I pull, pull it out or did I leave it there? I can't remember. I had it covered up for so many friggin' few days now, I can't remember. Yeah, see, I've still got the original there. That's one piece of the original. That's the only piece we... We did have other pieces, but they were only like the little short bits. So, yeah. So we'll have to take that off and put the other stuff through it and work it out. But let's book here. So you might spend a day on this just playing with this and see if I can work it all out and try and get some of it wired up which will make it easy to obviously to get the car started so yeah this is the one we want so yeah it'll be a matter of trying to lay it out and work it out Dash, what? Side lamps. Speedo lamps, that must be that one, I think. Yeah, I might take a picture of this and just blow it up a little bit. Or well, at least so I can zoom in on the phone and better see it a little bit easier. But yeah. It's definitely not a lot here. It's probably more the sleeving that was the probably biggest tassel. I'm assuming that's the one that I've got already through the firewall there now, just by looking at it. I say that's to go down to the back of the car. But yeah, so we have to work out where that's all meant to be. <laughs> all right, the other thing too, is we've got one here to test the center cap now these have been 3d machined unfortunately they haven't taken enough material out of here um, to fit over the front it's kind of okay for the back if you know what I mean but yeah because they haven't hollowed it out right out to the end um, it won't go on <laughs> So yeah, they'll have to obviously hollow it out, and they'll gonna um, they're gonna put the insignia in it as well. But yeah, so they'll have to take that right back down into it. I don't know how far down they've gone. Doesn't look like they've gone terribly far. They haven't gone much past into here. So yeah, it's got to go almost right down into here to get past over that. Hmm. I think I did. That's, I think that's because the cap that I had, one of the caps here that I had that was in the best condition that I've taken the pattern off, I straightened it out and got it to full depth so it would fit on on the front, but yeah, they've obviously haven't realised that's why it's like that. <laughs> but yeah, so that will go back in to them later on.
in the next couple of days and they'll have to do the more modifications obviously and then do the fin finish doing the insignia on it. We were going to get them to do this one too but they've made it a different size. They've, they've actually, it's quite a bit bigger than what that is, which the original ones weren't a lot bigger. They've actually made that bigger by quite a bit. So anyway, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, we'll get this unwrapped and uh, have a bit more of a study and we'll go from there. We might poke this through on this for, I was going to obviously get into doing some welding. But yeah, we might just at least lay this through the car and work it out and, you know, scratch my head a bit and just work out what I need to do here. See what it, why, obviously what all else I need to get to go with it. I actually thought they might have sent, you know, a few more little, because like it's obviously not finished off in the ends, but I thought they might have sent a few more little bits and pieces, like a packet of, term, you know, to terminate the other ends of it and stuff like that, but most of it looks like it is terminated, but it's like not quite sure. what's what but we'll work it out one other thing they could have done on here too was just even though it's a number they could have given a color so like i know it's probably a bit difficult but they could have just you know because you've got green with white and red with white and all that sort of thing like they could have just had on this you know number one um whatever color it's meant to be what well, i don't know um, i'm still looking for it if you know what i mean just to make it easier, so it is actually easier, it must be this red one. But you know, like they could have just, I know it's a, a bit of a pain, but you know, it would just makes it easier to know what you're looking for, you know. If they had it, oh yeah, it's number nine and it's pink. Well, you know, you're looking for a pink wire, you're not just looking for a number on all the different wires and get a hump through them. Um, which is kind of a, I don't know what the, whether the, some of the, um, what do you mean? Um, you know, some of the wiring kits that come white, some of these eBay type kits or whatever. You know, you buy the, some of the, what are they, um, 12 and 20 and, you know, 14, um, what do you want to call them, circuit kits. Um, you know, I bet you they've probably got, I know they're all labelled, but they've probably got a sheet like that with the colours as well and maybe what they go to. Um, we'll just... Yeah, we'll make it just it's just a little gripe, I guess. Now once you work it out, it's, it's easy enough to work out, but it's like when you just get this now you imagine if that was some of these other bigger kits, if you didn't know and you're just looking for a number. And it makes it a little bit harder to find, if you know what I mean. But so yeah, I'm just, just trying to have a wee look and just trying to work out what's meant to be what. Well this obviously here. Bring it a bit closer. Right, so this end here obviously goes to that black box light switch that's run off the column. Now it's got the lever on the steering wheel, so that goes to obviously all the fuses. So yeah, I'm just trying to work it all out. That's horn. And yeah, this is actually to the tail lights. Um, this is to brake light switch, which is still over here, which I haven't fitted yet. Um, I was in the midst of making that when this turned up. So I thought, well, until we get the wiring loom and whatever, you know, I'll just leave it. You now we can be carrying on with this another day, which might be today. We might spend a couple of days on this if we get the wiring at least in it. You now we haven't got any bright work yet. That was meant to have been finished too, but. Well, no, we haven't seen that yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just we'll run at least run this up the car and see where it runs to. Not quite sure why. It's a bit of a pain. What they've done here. Oh, it's probably not too bad. So this is obviously your left and right flasher. 21, 22. So the 
get some light from the rear. Look at this, because this is obviously goes to the tower lights. The flashes pull it to the back anyway. But you won't actually see. I don't know if you see any white that runs to the front for flashes, which is kind of funny. Like a, it's not written in here, if you know what I mean. My actual thought was maybe make the tower lights flash. So then make these flash up to the top. Um, and maybe you can put something small just right up the front. So uh, yeah, it's kind of weird that they've done that, but then there's nothing else we've done anywhere else, you know what I mean? Right, so I've just been, I've pulled the old bit of sleeving off here, um, I'm just starting to work out where and what stuff is, just really grab this, and just it's easy enough to work out, but I'm just going to write on some of these things with a bit of tape. Just so it's a wee bit easier for me to remember than a number. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, just awkward. The numbers, like the numbers are easy enough to trace if you're doing it all the time, but I'd rather have a label to put the light switch. Or whatever. Just make your life a little bit easier. Oh, it's a bit tacky. Is that me? Mm -hmm. It'll just be a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah. Not a number, a uh, couple little label. Well, they took the time to, to wrap the number around it. Well, the word would be just as easy. <laughs> just a couple of words. Alrighty, so I've got the fuse block, I guess you would call it light switch, um, wired. Um, it would be just nice if those wiring was just, the wire between here and here was, I don't know if it was a little longer or, or, or what, just, it's just, it's kind of not really ideal, if you know what I mean. Um, eventually when we get it fully worked out it might be okay but because that comes down to here and then the when it goes through to the tar lots goes back obviously um, unless it was something around here that helps you to hold this in place but it just kind of sitting there I actually thought it would have probably run up here and then tuck round up into here you know, from here like it would have been nicer if it could have run it just up the inside of the chassis here and then whipped around and standing having to run it like that to get a, enough length um, I did try the other way but it just was awkward it was pulling on too many wires if you know what I mean 
Oh, man, because it's been all terminated and I don't have that. Like, it's not as though I've got any real extra wiring here. I'm still trying to figure it out, their uh, loom. But I've got my diagram here, but it's it's kind of vague too, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not as though it's... Um, it's not as though it's set out like a loom, if you know what I mean. It's just generic. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to work out what all's what. So, you know, I'll poke that through the file. Well, I'm not too worried about the tail lights, it's just hanging down there at the moment. I'll, we'll put it through and obviously put clamps on it later. That sort of thing. Well, these are like that. Sneaking suspicion. Maybe. I'll have it back one smaller. Yeah, back one's a little bit small. So yeah, that's what that's for, just to hold the wine link. So it's obviously why there's a whole heap of them. They just used whatever for obviously for um, fuel lines and the oil, uh, not the oil, the uh, gas level line. Um, and then, yeah, the wiring would have went through that too, but because this is right-hand drive and the wiring's on the other side of the car, they just, there's a whole lot of extras, you know what I mean? So you can hook that through. There's some, obviously some holes through the bodywork as well, or through the chassis work to run it through. But I've got to hook them up at some point. So have a wee look here now and just see where this has got to go. That's the other thing too, is I don't really know where the wiring's meant to be on the back of this thing. Um, again, like, no real... Pictures, ideas, like, you know, it's easy enough to run to the gauges. Um, but, yeah, just a matter of working out what's meant to be what. So that's two switch. Flasher. Horn. Okay, so that's obviously to run from the switch, I'm guessing, around to the horn. And then obviously that other wire is run, meant to run around to the horn as well, I'm guessing. And obviously one side to the other. That's the other thing, I just don't know if this is going to be... It might be long enough, but it's just like, can I run it tidally? This wire. To get enough length. You know what I mean, like it's just... It's barely long enough. I'm guessing this is probably what this has been for, you know, to run a wire through, I would assume. I don't know whether it's meant to run underneath there or what, but we can just run it around the front in the meantime. It might be okay, but it's kind of, it might be alright. I guess, I guess. Just would have liked to have seen it nicer than that. You know, if it was another freaking foot longer or a foot and a half longer, you, you at least tuck it and try to hide it, you know, and um, and around here where you can't see it, and at least, you know, some of the way, <laughs> well, just, just, just little things like that are kind of annoying, you know, like at least I've seen a real, oh well, I've, there is a real original one that's, there's two ads away, it's like not, it's just not just five minutes away. To have a decent look that hasn't been molested with too much, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah. So I'll go try and join that in. Hopefully to the original one. I'd love to have, well, would love to have got it out, but I, I've never ever got this off. I'm too scared to break it. So I've got a little tiny bit of brick and wine down here to try and join onto if I can. It's kind of, you know, what it is. And it is, I'd say that's that because it's got that sort of, it's a slightly different look wiring. Let's set that there in the meantime. Mmm. Okay, 
dash light. So yes, we haven't got a dash. Oh, we've got the dash light. We don't have a bulb in there yet. Um, yeah, no, we don't have a bulb in there yet. So it's just a hole in there. Um, <whistles> so there's not really a lot to do. This is obviously pairs most things. Oh, it's only really uh, amp in your... Well, yeah. There's <laughs> nothing else really has pair. It's only just that. For your chat like for your charge. Dash light. Let's see the cow lights. Let's put it with that and have a look at it. See how far that reaches. Yeah, right, so this is one for each side of these lights. You go one to obviously into these bits for the bottoms of the um, headlights, or not headlights, cow lights. But these terminals don't fit them through the bodywork, so I'm going to have to feed these through and hang them out. And also feed them through. And through here. Um, or whatever hole, one, yeah, one of these holes, I think the middle hole, where it comes through and then obviously terminate it and then fit it all on there. Um, which is okay, I guess, but if you have an end to pull it off, you can't get that wire back through. Uh, it, it hooks onto the back of the dash here somewhere. Um, there's like a little, pretty sure that there is, well, it was. I know one of those other dashes, there's some little, like, little terminal things on the back of the dash that are screwed into the wood. Um, See those little terminals things there above that um, cable? There, there, they're meant to screw onto them. The wiring, so that must be for the cow lights because it's only a only of wiring and it's in there really, apart from the dash light and the, uh, the amp gauge. Yeah. And then I'll see ignition switch, which I'm assuming is one of, what's that, one. Start a solenoid. Which one goes to ignition switch? and switch to the X on flasher can. Oh. And listen switch to coil four. So that's that one. Right the other side of it though. Okay, so they all run off. That. Okay. Yeah. Be nice to have a, uh, a bit more of an idea how that was wired originally. Anyway, I'll work it out. Hmm. A little bit more of a look at this frickin' wiring diagram so we can work it out. <laughs> Righty, so I've got most of this wiring sorted out. Um, the two wires that are hanging down here are for the flash unit if we ever put in. 
um, well it's the wire that comes to that and obviously yeah, it's got this as well um, so <laughs> yeah it's it's quite weird like um, you know I was talking about like some of the wires are really short well you know it's like these ones here for the side lights basically you know the screw for the wires here like they could have made you know the the wire freaking you know foot and a half long but except they you know they give you three feet that you don't even need and but some of the wires that you could really do with a bit extra length are too short or borderline short if you know what i mean um you know just some of them would be nice to have a bit extra length but that's that's all good that's life unfortunately you know when they're making kits like this so i've got uh this is the ignition switch i've got that wide i've just got about it back in here um what else we got? This is for the dash light that we don't have. Um, the bit. Oh, shit. So what, so we'll look here at the other dash. Sorry about that. I've got the fan on if it sounds like it's windy. So the dash light screws in there. Um, so we don't have, have part of that. Well, not that I've seen. Um, so we'll resurrect that at some point. We'll make something to fit. Obviously, um, it, to be honest, it's not something I've actually thought about. Um, we've got this one here that we can make something up. I'm not even sure how it works, to be honest. That looks like it's got a spring in it. So, you don't really know. Um, we'll work that out. We'll get something working at some point. We'll have to do a little bit of research on that, maybe. There's power. Oh, no, nah, because the dash is another one. It's probably one of that one or that one. I'm not sure. Actually, that's probably that one up there because it's got the other brakes in it. So this one here will work off that. But yeah, I'm not sure about the light situation. And that's yeah, meant to be in there. So we've got the wiring just sitting there, but um, obviously not hooked up to anything. And we haven't don't have a light switch for that. So that's what this is to go to to the light switch and then this is the other wires for supposedly for it 17 and 17 why well, there's two I'm not sure but I'll work that out before we ever get one on it's a dash light switch and uh, yeah so we've got pretty much got that side of it sorted most of these pieces are looped. Um, I've got to double check and tighten screws and bits and pieces, but it's all in there and all sort of done up loose. I haven't planned about doing anything tight yet because I just, just in case I had to move anything or change anything or break anything out. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the headlights either because I've got a strange suspicion that I reckon this car was converted. It's possibly why it had those other headlights on it, the bigger ones, um, for double filament bulb. Because I think maybe the originals. Um, so these are like two wires. So I think the originals might have been single filament. And it went through that resistor here that was never on it. Well, well it pulled apart like three or four of these to try and make one. Um, so that's resistors for the headlights. Um, so obviously when you turn it to dim, it pulls a resistance, so it dims the headlights. Whereas this had a dip switch put in it at some point. So whether I just run that back through, that wire back through to the dip switch, and then hook up a, uh, a double light, double filament system, well, you know, so that switches the current between the two and just run this back up to here for power in and then two separate wires for power out for obviously high and low beam. We may do that. It might be the option to do that for. So yeah, this is obviously again the blinkers to the back. We have to work something out for the front, I guess. I did think about maybe putting it into those, but I don't know if we can do that. We might have to just rig something up somewhere. Um, 
if we had bumpers on it, you could put them in the bumpers, but we'll work something out at some point and work out something to do. But yeah. So I'm calling a not a complete standstill. I'm obviously gonna finish looping that wire through to the tail light and hooking up that brake light switch, which I will do at some point too, but that, we might do that tomorrow. Um, I haven't done anything to that. It's just been a lot of because I haven't really known it's pretty simple, but it's just a lot of head scratching, you know, trying to work out and double check that you're doing things right it's pretty simple like it doesn't take long but it's just it's awkward too because it's all together if I had the kit beforehand um, I probably would have laced a lot of it through as we put the dash in and all that sort of stuff and it would have been easier to sort out then but we didn't have it so we kind of had it together so I'm just trying to work from the position I am it's not easy I can't you can't get in and lie on the floor either maybe for a little small fella you would be able to, but I can't <laughs> <laughs> you end up with a freaking seat in your base and your ribs. It's not ideal. So anyway, so I got most of that sorted out. So I hooked the ignition switch back in its hole. Yeah, and at some point we'll work out a little a um, on off switch for the dash lights because it doesn't come on with the headlights. If you know what I mean, it's on a separate thing. It just you just turn it off and on. Um, a lot of cars used to be like that. Well. Probably back then I used to be anyway. So yeah, it's kind of where we're at. It's pretty simple, but it, yeah, it's just, just taking a wee bit of head scratching when I didn't. I obviously wasn't the one to pull it apart, so didn't really quite know exactly what was going on. But now I've sort of got a bit of ha handle on it. So obviously I've still hooked this up. I just want to. I might run it past that because I don't know much about generators. Um, it's basically the same as an alternator, but. It's, Let's make sure that I am meant to have this on the side of it. And then that's the coil. That's to the starter. So yeah, that red wire was long enough. It just goes up to the starter switch. I'll work that one out. So yeah. Now, I did actually manage to get this to sit reasonable because there was a lot of that green wire. That was one of the wires that was... Um, throwing me but there's actually quite a lot of green wire in there and I managed to pull some of it back through just to make this sit better we will get it this hooked up I'm not really sure I might make a little bracket just to hold this up to here somewhere just so it's not gonna get caught up in this when it's spinning at speed um, a few things like that with the sort um, Oh, that's got to go up to here too, I think. Which one's that one? Yeah, number five, just double check that. I think that's got to go up to the uh, generator as well. And that's where that goes. Air cut out in the generator. So yeah, so that goes to the light switch so yeah yes 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 it obviously feeds a lot of the power to places so basically everything runs off the generator instead of running like a modern car where a lot of it will go back direct to the battery it kind of runs off the generator and it probably is getting power from the battery because it's coming up through the uh, starter as well to the ignition switch. So basically the ignition switch is just turning the coil on and then drawing power from the generator. So, yeah. We're just about there. And apparently that is 12 volt. Didn't know that. I learned that the other day with that um, starter generator set up. I was reading that through here, so I've actually got to look into that. You know, somebody sent me a uh, link for a video for the clutch, which I've been meaning to look at. I actually need to have a look at that. Um, it's actually a, a localish guy sent me a link to that. I think he's from up north here a little bit, um, up around the coast. So I actually need to look at that video. 
to just find out what the girl was there. He said it should have enough information there to help me out with that clutch situation. So, yeah. But anyway, we're just about, I wouldn't say we're just about done here, but we're, we've got a handle on it now. Kind of now we're heading figure a lot of, lot of little silly things out. That were just simple enough, but, you know, just when you haven't played with it and haven't, didn't pull it apart, it makes it awkward. So, yeah. And now it's a matter of trying to get it tidy up. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll get there. Anyway, we'll catch you later on. Cheers. Right. So, morning again. Um, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to... I think I'll get clips on that back part of the harness and work out what I'm going to do to obviously hook the wiring to the tail light there and obviously at some point I'm going to have to try and find out where to get some ends for like the tower lights and bits and pieces I'm going to have to obviously go buy a kit of some description for a lot of those little bits and pieces um, with all the little terminals but sort of vintage stuff because I'm probably going to need it for this thing as well and obviously I'm going to have to rewire this as well um, I think I'll just make a wiring kit um, because I think it'll be simpler because <laughs> it's just like for the amount of weight for that and the cost like I don't know what that wire is worth you know on a roll but um yeah it's just it's a bit ludicrous just the weight that we have obviously you know probably that might be quite so bad I don't know whether it originally had all that sort of sleeving around it or not but I think it by the looks of it it had a lot of fabric sleeving I've got it sitting down there but it's such a mess. Um, yeah, and I want some extra wire for here as well anyway to wire the headlights in on the double film. Actually, I'll just have a look here. I want actually just see. This has got two wires into it. Just not sure what's going on here either. Because this is an original headlight for this, but whilst we've got no glass for this one, we only got one glass. Um, one good glass, I think. Now eventually we'll, we'll, we will restore these and put these back on here. Um, or I will, because he would like to, whoever does that other coupe, which he's going to make a special out of, he wants to put those, the big headlights that we're putting on this, onto that, you know, when we obviously get enough bits to make these ones work properly, again, and put it back to more, closer to original. Um, what it should be, but I'll, what I want to have a look here is just see whether this is a double double film bulb or not too. Because I just don't quite understand. Um, the one wide thing, this has definitely got two. Um, just to try and work out whether these are, were originally double filament bulbs or not. With this high beam, low beam. It doesn't really say much in that wiring diagram, no. At points that it was just single wire and run through a zip resistor. Yes, it just shows one wire to the headlight and obviously when you flick it from Bright to dim. Um, that puts the power through that resistor back through to the headlight. So it drops, it drops the power down. So it's not as bright. Um, it's obviously how they did it originally. So instead of having two filaments, you just had one filament, but just chop the power and I don't know, half sort of type thing. Or whatever. So yeah, I just don't know. 
So there's a few things like that we need to obviously work out. And for the life of me, it's got corner lamps written on these wiring diagrams. I've never seen a corner lamp yet. Um, unless it was a corner lamp that was meant to be in the body on the inside. That maybe this is more a generic thing, I guess. Um, and obviously yeah, if it had like a hard top or whatever, it might have had corner lamps. It's kind of a weird thing, I just don't quite understand that. Stop light, corner lamp. And it's got a switch for corner lamps. Does that mean turn turning signals? Does it originally have turning signals? Or could have had turning signals? It's weird. I just don't quite understand that. See on here? Corner lamps. But it's on that stop light signal on the same fuse from the switch. Which and then it's got like a separate switch, it's so just, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't understand it. It's on both diagrams. So this one's obviously for uh, mag, this is for a distributor. Um, apart from that, it's very similar. There's a couple of things that are slightly different places, obviously, and all the wires routed slightly differently because of that, but, um, but yeah. It's kind of just, hmm, never seen that. Because I see it's also got a, I wonder if the oil pressure, the original oil gauge, see I don't know if that's the original oil gauge, may have had a, a, a light in it too, on here, was a, That's uh, just wondering if that's for an electric oil gauge for the one that was off the gearbox that was for the brake pressure. Wonder that could be that. Yeah, it's a few weird things that just like that aren't here, you know what I mean? was no wire to them but I guess you know there was probably a few different variations and that's just a generic if it had it it had it if it didn't it didn't so yeah but you get a few little things buttoned up um the ignition back in its hole and, and whatever and then I guess until I get a I'll see a, a bit of bit extra gear to terminate because we didn't know what come with the kit either. That was a thing, like we didn't know that it didn't come with like the ends for all this sort of stuff, you know. We were thinking that maybe, you know, come with like a few little accessories, you know, like a bag of bits and pieces to need a tooth. You know, look, okay, this is for the end of the lights and whatever. I thought maybe that might have been in there, but obviously not. So anyway, we'll carry on. Get a bit more stuff buttoned up and I'll come back to you. Right, so I've got this, I haven't obviously gone through and tightened all the uh, nuts up. But I've got all the clamps on the wiring. Um, and obviously there's enough sleeve on this to go right up to the tail light. But, what do you then do with the um, blinker wiring? Well, it's all good running it through there. But now I've got this stuff here, which is obviously my original wiring that I made up for the tail light because I never had you know didn't know what was what so obviously this goes meant to be go all the way up the tube but then I've got to try and turn around and bring this wiring back down the tube so what do I do here now do I cut it <laughs> um, yeah I'm not paying the fuck it's a I don't know it's just it's not like I have made things and I've added this in, like they haven't really thought about it. 
it's good, but it's, yeah. So now, like, I can soon wrap that around and poke it up there and, you know, I could probably just cut these wires off and join them onto there. Because it's not very, it doesn't give me a lot to play with at the end of it to get into the light. But if I try to just shorten it and join it in here somewhere, then I've got all this excess to play with of this sleeving, which is kind of annoying. Um, obviously, it's a nice little fitting to put over it to uh, put on the end. Well, I could probably get that off, I guess, and try and get it off and um, try and shorten the sleeving up, but then I've just better pull the wiring out of it to do it. <sighs> Annoying, but anyway, so that's that hassle. So I might deal with that later. <laughs> In the meantime, oh, ow. so we got that sorted. So I've just got to tighten that stuff up. That's kind of where I'm at it here at the moment. It's just basically all I've done, apart from talk to the owner of the Studebaker and just going over a few bits and pieces we need to sort. So he's going to try and get me a. Uh, He's going into town later on. He's obviously going to drop this back. So quickly right on here, the mat, the uh, minimum depth needs to be from this thread. So where it screws onto here. Um, I'm guessing that maybe this piece, if you screw it right on, will actually just jump over that. I'm not sure because we can't get it on. But from the from this depth here. Out to here, there's a touch over um, a little bit over two inches, which is um, two inches is about 55 mils, so it's about two and a quarter ish mils deep from about that thread or wherever. Um, and then also, we've got to allow for obviously the, the width of the, the nut which is a uh, about a 36 mil nut um, so if you go from point to point it's about uh, it's not quite an inch and three quarters across the point so yeah we're going to allow for that in, in here as well and he's also going to take this to see if we can find some sort of fitting to fit in that the light and obviously see if we can get some ends of the wiring but yeah so I'll carry on Right, so I'm not quite sure where I got up to earlier on. So I've obviously got the ignition switch back in. I mucked around with a bit with that wiring. Um, yeah, and we're going to have to try and shorten that somehow um, at some point. That sleeving, I'm just not quite sure what we're going to do there yet. So I've kind of left it. So I've just finished making a little um, clamp to go on here so I can hold this up here so it doesn't get... Not that I don't think it will, but I'd hate to see it bang into that while that's spinning and uh, catch that. And also, it'll, I better hold a little bit of pressure on this up here to uh, just try and keep this angle better so it doesn't pull on these cables in here. It's a bit of a, I don't know, it's a bit awkward, a bit weird. Because <clears throat> I'm not really quite sure which direction this was originally set. Um, possibly the photos in that book will tell me but whether that's the way they all sat or whether it was just the way it was <laughs> in the photos I don't know you know what I mean um, oh it doesn't even show me on here it doesn't no so yeah that's a, another issue so like I've looked at this thing on a heap of cars and they're all some of the cables poking out here, some of it's poking out here, some of it's poking out there. Obviously, it's not going to come out this side because it can't. It's too bulky. But I've seen it all directions, so this is the one that kind of made the most sense. So I thought if it's here, it's going to get hooked up in this, and you can't pull it out. So it's either really going really to go out this side or this side. Um, and, but just because of the way the wiring is, we'll put it out the back um, because we found when we had this around here it also interfered with this so it was kind of made the most sense if you know what I mean but anyway so I made a little bracket up here I sprayed etched that and I've just recently sprayed a coat of black and it might just spray another one on it 
Um, just give it another wee lick of gloss black. And then I actually think I can't have a, once I've had enough of wiring, but in the meantime, because I also need a few little odds and ends to sort of finish this stuff off and work out exactly what we're doing. The owner took that other base of the uh, gauges in with them, just the back face of it where the bulb goes into, see if you can find something to work with that. Um, a few other little bits and pieces, so he's going to try and sort out something like that. And I said to him, you know, well, we might end up putting that wiring for the headlights up to that, then run it through for the dip switch. We've also had to work out something for these indicators or turn signals, whatever you want to call them, um, to run some wiring to the front when we eventually finish that up. So I'm going to kind of leave this in the meantime. Obviously, when that dries, I'll throw that on. We've got a little bit of mucking around to do in the back. I've got all those clamps on. Again, I, I just think that sleeving to the back is just a little long. But there's not much I can do about it without pulling it all off, mucking around with it and screwing around. It's kind of... That's why sometimes it's nice to make the shit yourself. <laughs> you know, I could have just... I, I would have rather just them send the kit with everything that I needed. Supposedly cut rough to length and then me feed it through and make it myself because then I could have trimmed it all to, to be decent length so I think I'm going to actually carry on with this now Alright, so yeah, I decided I might call it here for this video we'll see you tomorrow in the next video whether it's back on this or that it's probably going to be that by the time you I get through some of this get that sorted I think that'll be the next one after this one so anyway, we'll catch you later on cheers, thanks for watching